Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Keep in mind these are general messages so they may or may not resonate. You can always check your other placements if it doesn't. This is going to be for mid-May and I'm going to let you know how your person feels about you, what their next move is going to be and so on. All right. So the person that Aquarius has in mind, what's their energy towards Aquarius? What's their energy? Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse. So coming out of conflict. This person is releasing a burden. They may not have made a move towards you yet. But they are releasing some things. Um, they are dealing with a lot, I guess. But they do want to come out of any type of conflict you have going on or any type of disagreement. They just haven't really made the move. All right. So Aquarius, energy towards that person. And you are hesitant to take a leap as well. But you do feel that there is some instability. Some of you are not feeling like the stable connection is there anymore. If there's been separation. But some of you may be manifesting this connection back. Or just taking back control of your life. Not really chasing this person. Just doing you. What is the recent past energy? What happened in the recent past to you? Five of Wands. Could have been some conflict. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Hmm. There was some arguments and things changed. Things may have been up and down, hot and cold for a while, but there has been some conflict here. We have the Five of Swords in reverse again. So I see that someone in this connection, maybe both of you, really wants to come out of conflict, but... There was an argument, there was a fight that happened that changed things. What is the connection, the energy of this connection? So someone needs to make a decision. You could be dealing with a Aries, some of you, but someone is a little bit controlling. It could be that someone is letting go of other options if there were other options involved. But I see with the Three of Cups, there's reconciliation. However, the Empress, the Empress, the Emperor is in reverse, which says control. Somebody, um, somebody was just a little bit controlling or wanted things to be their way or the highway. And that could have affected the relationship, communication could have been affected. What's the message for Aquarius? What is the message for Aquarius? This deck is so hard to shuffle. What's the message for Aquarius? Okay. Only time will tell. I feel like you need another card. Only time will tell what happens, but well, let's see. All right. Friendship. Nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Aquarius is known for being friends first and then lovers later. So if you guys were friends first, nurture the friendship that you had with this person first and then focus on the love but we have when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memory you have shared with those you love so basically looking at the bigger picture be aware of what you're projecting be aware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So like attracts like. 
Let me see what this person is feeling for you. Okay. Show me their feelings towards Aquarius. Person's feelings towards Aquarius. Okay. Definitely needing to nurture the friendship here first. That's like a theme. Could be a Scorpio for some of you or a fellow Aquarius. Okay, this person, they're in their feelings. It could be a Cancer or a Gemini as well. Hesitant to take the leap. We said that already. <laughs> We've gone over that already. The Fool is in reverse again. But this person, um, they're, they're wanting change and they're seeing the relationship as the Knight of Cups in reverse. They know there's been some emotional like upheaval because they are in their feelings and they're kind of wishing to just kind of stay stuck in their feelings for a little bit just to work through their emotions, get, you know, things sorted emotionally. Um, why is this person being so negative? They do want to um, stop pushing you away. They are in the energy where they're no longer pushing you away, but they're not necessarily running towards you just yet either. So there's progress. There's progress. It could have been that there was cheating involved for some of you, if you know about it, or if you are the one who did it. But this person, they just kind of want to stay in their feelings for now. Their next move though is, is to come out of that because you have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So they do plan to stop keeping themselves stuck. They do plan to come out of their feelings very soon, but they are feeling like really low, really rejected. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but they seem to be feeling those feelings. So they kind of want to sulk, but they're not going to sulk forever. There is also the chariot in reverse. So this may take some time, like they may take some time to come forward. They will, but it's gonna take time. They don't really, it's like they don't really know how to come forward just yet. They may kind of rely on the friendship side of this relationship first before going into the emotional side. But let's see. Show me Aquarius. Show me Aquarius energy here. What can Aquarius expect going forward? What's their feelings? Their outcome? For this your, your feelings how you see your person you know that they're kind of emotional you see them as a queen of cups whether they're male or female they're emotional um, again with the Aquarius energy could be dealing with fellow Aquarius reconciliation three of cups so you're wanting to reconcile you're wanting to reconnect um, I see that your feelings for them haven't changed they're still stable, four of wands. You see the relationship is kind of unsettled though at the moment, but there's still a lot of passion between the both of you. Things are quite fiery, but they're like in their feelings, this person. So I see that you don't want to be single. Some of you don't want to let this relationship go. Um, you do want to you want to come out of this five of cups coming out of this feeling of loss basically i see that you want you want to fix this relationship 
um, what was blocking is how to fix it and how long is it gonna take and it's like you're currently working on it or you're waiting for this person to start working on it um, some of you may have other options or other crushes in mind with the seven of cups some of you not all um, that's all I'm seeing the seven of cups as right now that some of you have a choice people to choose from maybe that's what upset this person for some of you but we have the star in reverse queen of wands in reverse judgment in reverse okay so i see that your person um there, there may be someone gossiping about you i'm not gonna say it's your person because it doesn't look like it to me but the with the queen of wands reverse in the position of what you need to know there is someone speaking about you someone gossiping if someone has someone has your name in their mouth basically most likely speaking negatively about you I don't feel like it's your person I feel like it's just some hater I don't know maybe it's one of their family members who don't like you or a friend or something but someone's talking about you your next move is the star in reverse you're not really making much of a move here you know I just see you kind of trying to make some kind of decision you're understanding where your person is at your person is at emotionally but I don't see you ready to let this relationship go but I still don't see you chasing them either um, but we have judgment in reverse it still stands that this relationship is being tested that everything is still happening for a reason but some of you may feel like you're being judged negatively and it could be by this person who's talking about you um let me see soulmate yes this is your soulmate true love this is the romance of a lifetime oh positive what waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring these are all positive cards they're saying that you should wait and that this is true love i'm not gonna lie it doesn't like your person is just they're gonna need a minute to just be in their feelings but i guess it could work what is going on with this connection trapped connection interference and deja vu so for some of you this could be a repeat of something that's happened before but i see that a lot of you are like kind of stuck in this connection you feel like you don't want to leave the connection but there's been this interference something happened the messages could be vice versa by the way but something interfered with this connection it could be this gossiping person as well for some of you what's the advice for Aquarius okay you're very close to achieving your goal a fiery climax approaches something's getting ready to happen adjustments are required show the world the real you could be dealing with a fellow Aquarius with this card Aries who else Scorpio Gemini Aquarius again um cancer aquarius again <laughs> so basically your person they need a minute this can work this could be your soulmate your true love but they need a minute and it says it's worth waiting for so if you believe that it's worth waiting for then it is but they need a minute they're feeling rejected keep in mind it could be vice versa it could be you feeling rejected needing a minute needing to process your feelings could be them who had other options and you are needing to give yourself time whichever way it is there's hope for this relationship one of you wants to reconcile one of you wants some space and some time but it could really work it's up to you okay so Aquarius this is what I'm seeing for you Check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect. 
Hopefully you got something out of these messages. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.